Hi guys, today I want to show you what I eat in a day and kind of do a bit of a vlog style video I guess. I will show you a few items that I like to have on hand so I need to meal prep them. So as you've seen at the beginning of this video that I have to do a bit of a cleanup in the morning. I usually wake up between 4.30 and 5 a.m. as I have to make three lunches and three breakfasts for my kids before school. Then I have to drive my youngest one to send to school. So by the time I come back, it's about 7.30 a.m. and it's time to start my day. So I do a cleanup first. I need to wash my stove and do the dishes. I also have to change my water filter as the water starts tasting a little bit funny. I know it's time to change it. So here I am just wiping everything down and the filter I'm going to change is called Zero Water. That's the brand I like to use. I like how water tastes after it's cleaned with this filter. So this video is not sponsored, I just like to share my favorites here. Now I'm almost done with this cleanup and everything looks nice and shiny and now it's time to cut the fruits. Wait, first I have to go and do the laundry real quick. Now I'm going to check out all these fruits here. Looks like mangoes are ready to eat and pineapple smells really nice and it looks ripe and ready to eat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this watermelon and this is what I'm gonna have for my breakfast. It's so delicious, sweet and hydrating so this is what I'm going to have this morning. So this watermelon wasn't that red looking, it was more on a pinkish side but it still tasted good and I liked it. Here's what I usually do, I try to cut half and eat that and I try to blend the other half to have as a juice for later. I store it in the fridge and it's good for about two days. Okay, now it's time for me to eat this sweet watermelon. I ate a lot of watermelon but I couldn't finish what I prepared so I saved that for later. Okay, now it's time for me to go ahead and cut these lemons. I bought a whole bunch of lemons because I wanted to make some lemonade. So that's what I'm doing here, I'm just squeezing all these lemons. Now I just have to drain it so all the seeds don't get into the lemonade. And now I have to fill it up with water and I added some stevia extract for sweetness. Now I just have to stir well, taste to make sure it tastes sweet and sour and then refrigerate. Now I have these three super ripe pineapples that I need to prep so I just cut them up and store in the fridge as well. These pineapples were so juicy and sweet, really delicious. By the way, use the core in smoothies, okay, because it's full of nutrients. It's hard to eat if you try to chew on it, but you can blend it up in the high-speed blender and use it in the smoothie. It's really good that way. Next, I like to prep my almonds, so I soak them overnight and then I drain them and rinse them. I used about 2 cups of soaked almonds and about 6 cups of water. Now I'm going to blend for about a minute until everything is crushed and ready. Now I'm going to use this cheesecloth to drain the milk and separate from the pulp. I keep almond pulp in the freezer and I use it in the smoothies mostly. And now I'm gonna do a taste test of this milk. It tasted very different from the store-bought drinks. It's delicious. The rest of the almonds I'm going to be either snacking on or use them in some recipes. Now that I have all that almond milk ready, I decided to make a dessert, my favorite chocolate chia seed pudding. 
I have a link to that recipe in the description so check it out. So I'm just adding some chia seeds to my almond milk and then I added cacao and maple syrup. Mix it well and then let stand few minutes then mix it well again. Next I'm going to make this Asian slaw with ginger peanut dressing. I already have a recipe on my channel so you can check that out. So I went outside to pick some cilantro for my salad and I saw these beautiful little strawberries hanging in there. They were so tiny but they smelled so good so I picked all the red ones. And now I'm just gonna fix a little bit of my garden here and back to the kitchen I go. So I chopped all this cilantro and all the vegetables and made this yummy creamy peanut ginger dressing. So I had a bowl of that salad for lunch and I also had a few mangoes. So this is my plate of mangoes, so sweet and juicy. For snack I had a glass of my almond milk and a bowl of chia seeds pudding. So good, so satisfying. And then I had to go and pick up my son from his school bus. And this is what it looked like outside. Everything was kind of yellow looking and smoky air. The smoke came from the wildfires from Canada, so the whole New York was covered in the smoke. So the air was really bad that day. Just waiting to pick up my little one and it's so smoky and dusty outside it's crazy when i came back home for my dinner i decided to have a mashed potato with garlicky stream beans and broccoli and some herbal tea there is no caffeine in this tea i poured a little bit too much here as you can see and i'm going to spill some out of course Next, I squeezed some lemon juice and that was my tea. And here's my plate with mashed potatoes and garlicky string beans. All these recipes I mentioned here are in the description for you guys, so you can check it out. I decided to have another snack and here's what I had. I cut an apple and had two sweetest medjool dates and some almond butter. These dates tasted like caramel, so sweet and gooey. The dates are better than any candy guys and they are so good for you. So many minerals, vitamins, fiber. So that was my evening snack. So I hope you guys got some meal ideas from this video and if you're interested in this Asian slaw I mentioned in this video, check out this video right here where I show you how to make it.